How's it going? Apologies for the wait, guys. Apologies. I was farting around with my uh, computer, and I was, like, kind of forgetting to uh, start the stream. Uh, so, how is it going, guys? Long time no see. Long time no see. Uh, we are going to be doing something a little different today. I don't know if you all are ready for this or not, but we are going to be working on a brand new campaign. Uh, so, yeah. I hope you guys are excited. I just have to figure out how to, uh, <laughs> to delete everything and give myself room to make a new world on World Anvil because I'm not paying for a subscription. You can hold me at gunpoint. I'm not doing it. Uh, I might just have to honestly make a new account. <laughs> yeah, I think, I think that's just where we're at. Anyway, uh, yeah, I wanted to, again, stream this today because I really love D&D. It, it's got a special place in my heart. Um, and I kind of just want to show people the process, I guess, as far as what I do, um, to create the worlds I make. I know eventually I do want to make a, uh, you know, a, a brand new, God, what is all this? This is too much. We're playing in Dungeons and Dragons, it's asking all these damn questions. God, what's our world name? So, okay, here is the deal for today. Uh, we'll go ahead and switch it over. You guys can see me. Hi. Am I really bright? I thought I'd turn that down. Hold on. There we go. Desaturate my face. Uh, so, uh, as far as what we're doing today, campaign-wise, again, if you are in my D&D campaign, please don't watch this. But I basically... We're going to do a modern era college campus kind of deal as far as any of the characters the entire world villains like the system the magic all of that i have not come up with any of it i'm going off to the one premise of college dnd dnd college boom that's it so as far as the name of our world i really don't know what i want to call it yet um and I think just for now, we're going to put, like, some kind of placeholder name. I know you guys can't see this, but I'm just going to call it, uh, Magic School for now. J just for placeholder, obviously. Because, uh, all of the <laughs> Adventure in Magic School is the campaign name. Magic School Adventurers. Yeah, this is fantastic. So, here we go. And, again, we'll, uh of go through this and i'm going to be using world anvil like i said uh earlier to let you guys see what i was talking about and we're going to kind of make these articles you're going to watch me spell everything horribly wrong uh along the way but again i i just think it, it would be very interesting to go from there and just show you guys the the ideas that we got so i'm very excited guys very excited we're gonna be making a new campaign and good lord god guys please I, I don't i don't need i don't need all these tips pulled up uh gosh yeah so world anvil kind of throws a lot at you at once uh unfortunately which is cool but it is kind of a lot So, I think first things first, let's switch you guys over. I don't know if it's going to pull up on your screen now, so we'll switch over to uh, this here. And I'm going to just resize this for the sake of it, because I don't think I want you guys to be watching or seeing, like, everything that I I have to offer here. So, let me, let me fart with this for a second. We'll kind of, I don't know if we're going to stretch it. Let me just see if I can crop it. Okay. Okay, hold on. Here is Kindle. Hi. 
There's Kendall. She's going to be, she's my co-DM. Like I, I don't know if I mentioned that. Uh, she is going to be helping us make stuff today. Uh, and I need to do this really fast. This cute little cat. Oh my goodness. He's like rolling around behind me. Hello. Oh, goodness. He's so cute. Are you handsome? Oh. Kylo. This kitty cat, Cody. I love him. Kylo? Are you loved? Meow. So, again, this might be a little off, but I just want you guys to basically see the, uh, the gist of this. This might honestly look kind of weird on stream, but I don't know. Yeah, it kind of looks, it looks a little janky. We're going to fix that real quick. Let me... It's just way too stretched out. All right. I might honestly just toss this. Just toss it. Just toss it. Sorry. Talking to the cat. Not good. Uh, uh, let me throw on something really fast, and then we can get started here. music because why not here we go over monitor uh, I don't need a little mini monitor I'm good sure I'm sure Turning this on for a second, guys. Hold on. We're going to switch this really quick. Honestly, no. Let's just make a new one. I don't want to. I don't want to do this. Here we go. We'll loop it. Sorry if I just burst everyone's eardrums. Who heard that? I don't know why that's going through the audio output too. Should not be doing that. Um, hold on, yeah, just one second. So loud. It's so loud, I'm sorry. Ugh. We're turning that we're, we're turning that way down. Alright, I'm sure that's not gonna start driving people crazy. So let me pick something that isn't going to drive people crazy. I'm trying to pick like a, a very slow song just to play in the background here.
Here we go. Just some chill lo-fi stuff. Just some chill lo-fi stuff. No biggie. I, I smashed my finger getting that couch into the... Never mind. Are you doing okay? I'm doing all right. I just, you know, just smashing my finger into stuff. Um... How do I want to do this? Is, is this just... Yeah, this is only on that, thank god. Alright. Barkin. I will share my screen with you, Kendall, in case you want to look at it. But I have World Anvil pulled up here, uh, and I believe this music isn't too loud, hopefully. Hard to tell, I can't really listen to it right now. Somebody's barking at me. Oh my good lord. One second. I can hear him, he's losing his hey. marbles. What are you doing, huh? Hi. Oh, he's playing with his puffball. Kylo. Come here. Go get it. Now he's all confused. I interrupted his playtime. He's, he's a little lost. It's all right. He'll, fi he'll figure it out. <laughs> he's just a cute little cat. Oh my goodness. He doesn't understand. Little, little mouse. Right, I'm, I'm gonna give this a go. We're gonna see how this this works. All right, Kendall, would you do me the honors of talking? Like right now? Yes. Okay, hold on. You're very loud. There we go. All right, talk one more time. Like this? Yep. And I'm gonna just make sure this talks uh, or sounds good. So just keep talking for me really fast. Okay. Um, there is, uh, an apple tree in the front yard. We used to have an apple tree in the backyard, but it rotted. We had to take it down. And my cat is playing with a puffball right now. It's orange, and he's very excited. He is declaring victory over it. I don't know if he's mourning it or... He's just crying out and barking. I don't know if he's mourning or triumphant. <laughs> he's batting it. So cute. Yeah, you are. I don't know if you can hear him skittering around. He's just he's going crazy with his little puffball. Hi, Ollie. Ollie's looking at me. He's looking at me like I'm crazy. Yeah. I'm super entertaining. Wow. You know, I'm looking at Amazon right now for many monitors that I know you told me you didn't really want, but, um... Uh, uh yeah. I'm just trying to make sure the music and you aren't too loud, but I think it's good. I think we're all right. Okay, am I good with talking yeah, now? Yeah, sorry. Okay. I think you should be fine, but just in case. I don't know, it's my, it's, it, we're, we're testing this. Anyway, 16 minutes in. Here's where we are at, okay? Uh, so we've got this World Anvil pulled up here. Uh, so I just put it under Magic School for now as kind of the placeholder name for this, this whole shebang. But we're going to, I guess, start off First things first with the the world. So we're gonna go to geography here. Uh, we're dismissing the tutorial. I just really don't need this flash sale. It really wants me to have this flash sale. It's just not gonna happen. Um, what? Sorry, World Anvil is just trying to sell me stuff like a lot right now. I'm so. on Amazon. I want to get you a little mini screen, okay. mini monitor. God, I am a consumer. Consume, consume. All right, so we're going to be working on a world here, uh, and I would like. Oh God, this is there's just so much stuff here. This is this is a lot. Oh my 
good lord. Um, Cody, do you have another HDMI port? I think so. I'm pretty sure I do. Man, I gotta, I gotta get familiar with with this. So I don't know. Let's start a category, I guess. List maybe. How like is a seven-inch monitor, two hundred and thirty dollars? Oh, it attaches to a camera. Never mind. I see. Okay. So it's not a regular monitor. So, I fuck off. We're in line. Time. What if it's like thirty dollars, Cody? I mean, if you want, uh, I don't really need it at this right exact moment. So, mm. we definitely got to come up with a better night name than Magic School. Oh, oh. I could change the look of these too. It's really cool. Um, I always really like these timelines. They really help me get a sense of the world. I feel like so. I kind of start with the timeline first. Go from there. So, man, yeah. I guess first things first. Let me <laughs> sign into Google. I guess to, to to make sure. So I'm just gonna really fast. We're just gonna pop this off just because I don't want you guys to see my fucking login info. For Google Docs. All right. All right. Magic school. Here we are. So, uh, let me turn this off one more time. Actually, here, let me just do this. Real quick. I'm going to share this with Kendall's Gmail so that she can get in here too. All right, Kendall. I've shared a, a Google Doc with you, so you okay. should be able you should be able to join it now. But the idea here is uh, this is the magic magic school uh, <sighs> name name in progress. Yeah. So scale this up a bit. I don't know, we'll hit that with a tab, 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 backspace. So which backspace. email did you send it to? Uh, Kindle Rizzler or something, something. I think it's your Gmail. Okay. Name in progress. So, <clears throat> I think just a couple things off the bat. We need to have the world. And uh, let's go ahead and shrink this. Also, I am not five years old, and I do not need this in Times New Roman. So we need to figure out the world first and foremost. Uh, and that goes as far as the the name, uh, the you know, the setting, the uh, as far as like people who live there, I guess. Or uh, what? What would that even be like? Is there an, is there a word for that? Huh? Like the populace. So we got the name, the setting, the populace, the magic system. <clears throat> we also need the technology level. We need. Continents. Definitely did not spell that right. And climate, but I feel like that kind of just goes with the setting. Um, Wait, so which email did you? Yeah, oh, good lord. Okay, hold on. I sent it to. I'm going to send it through Discord so that I don't accidentally. Dox your email. Yeah. 
It's a it's a Google Doc. I sent it from my from this one. Good lord. Drive me crazy. I can just do this. There. Yep. I just sent you a link to it as well. So. There you go. It says you're in. Weird. That's okay. Uh, so. Here's a list of the things that we should figure out first. Um, and then as far as like, uh, I don't know, like city. I don't like this foot. need to have a list. list of a Major cities. I need to have like mayors. If I could spell it right, mayors. I don't like this like government. I'm typing that wrong. Whatever government officials and stuff. Uh, I'm here. I'm gonna add this as well. Uh, so what? What? We no. So far. This looks weird. This foot's backwards. Oh my gosh. It is Sorry. a modern day city. This is a college. Didn't spell that right either. Something that don't worry about. It's always like college or college. I, always, I feel like it always looks like it's spelled wrong. We should probably stick to talking about basic world stuff. You know? Right. And if you would look at the Google Talk instead of drawing, you would uh, see that. I, I, I saw that, buddy. I'm just saying in general, like, you know, like beforehand. God, you're so sassy, you know that? Where's the checkbox thing? I want to do the checkbox. I hate how this foot looks. Man, if I drew more consistently, maybe this, this shit would be easier. But I draw like once a week, so. Isn't there like a hotkey for checkmark? Control Shift 9. That makes sense. I don't like that. There we go. So, just a little checklist. First and foremost. And we can kind of check, check this stuff off as we go. Um, I think for now we're not going to worry about this though. Alright, so the name of the world I feel like usually isn't super duper important. I mean, if we want to do like a funny little, like, I don't know, like school and other languages. What? E call. E call. That's what they call. E call. E call in French is is school. Okay. Well, what if we just, you know, had to be, you know, school and normal, like English. No, I'm, t I'm talking about like the planet. Like, what is the planet called? Oh. <laughs> e call. You wanted to just be school. 
the well, point I of mean, school. Well, I mean, it's not like they're not they're gonna know that. They might look it up. I mean, I think it'd be kind of funny. Like, what's here? I'll throw in like a magic sounding word. Or word. Sorry, not world. E. coli. Name the planet E. coli. Mojo E. coli. Do you know what E. coli is? Yes, I know what E. coli is. What is it? It's poop. It's poopy. It's wrong. It's bacteria in poopy. So, there you go. I'm just looking for our words. I don't know that's... why I'm doing this. I'm going to draw right over this. Just... Let me see if I even like how this looks. I don't. I don't like how this looks. This is just pissing me off. Listen, I think drawing women is so much easier than drawing men. Because I've drawn women all my life. So, not to not to steal directly from a podcast I was listening to today, but the name of their campaign was Wonderlust, and the whole idea of why it was called Wonderlust was because they had these crystals that that like basically the the magic that you know in D and D. Uh, the only way to obtain that is through these crystals, which are called like they're called like Wonder Crystals or something like that. And so the yeah. name is a spin on it. Basically, it's like Wonderlust because like everyone wants these crystals, right? Because they give you magic. So I think honestly, something like that would be interesting. So uh, as far as like the campaign name, I feel like the world name can be kind of just whatever. But I think something like that would be kind of kind of interesting. And I mean, I feel like we do like because we had Mystical Isles, which I feel like didn't really fit the campaign, but whatever. And then we had Sealed in Time, which I feel like that made sense for... You also came up with it on the fly, didn't you? I did. It was originally, like... What was it originally? Uh, I feel like it's always been Sealed in Time. Nick said he wants to be in my dungeon with, like, the awkward smiling face. Nick is such a... Nick, go back to your corner. <laughs> also, he even if... He just crawled out of Ashley's little pit that she I, dug I don't there. even know if you're supposed to... I don't know if you're joining the campaign or not, so get, get out of here. Okay, we're not going to name the, the world E. coli, because it's ruined now. Ruined? Yeah, you ruined it. I did? Yeah, you ruined it. How? Because now I'm going to look at it and I'm only going to see E. coli now. Well, that's your own fault. Sorry. Uh, this is pissing me off. I just don't like how he, they look. I just don't like it. Now, I'm going to be covering up his legs, but, like... Should it be facing this way? No. No, I don't want to... No. I'm getting, I'm getting hung up on the wrong things here. The world name doesn't matter right now. It's it's more about the setting and stuff that we need to figure out. So the setting, we know it is going to be modern. It's going to be modern day, so I'm going to set it in like like 2024. 20, no. It can be modern. It doesn't have to be like today. I mean, we can still put it in like... You want to do like, what, 2010s? Okay, good talk. I'm I'm listening. I'm thinking. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Let me know you're Sorry, thinking. I... You're just sitting there. Sorry it's been more than two seconds to come up with an answer for you, okay? Uh 
Yeah, sure. I don't know. Maybe not 2010s. Well, I mean, I want it to be modern, but I don't want it to be like. I mean, I don't know. It can't, Can you go for like cyberpunk? Today. No, I don't want to do cyberpunk. I just want it to be a cyberpunk. normal, modern. Cyberpunk. Thing. No, we're not doing cyberpunk. Please. Think you're just a hater and you don't like any of my ideas because you hate me. Typical American college. Um. Is it, do you want to put the college in like a decently, like kind of like a city, pretty much? I mean, sure, why not? In... If it's modern day, I don't see why a college wouldn't be. Decent sized city. Modern day 2010s, typical American college in a decent sized city. Um... So, okay, now this is interesting, because, again, we're talking about the settings in, like, a magical D&D world. So when you think of, like, the Four Seasons, do you want there to be Four Seasons in this world? Or do you want the fact that there's maybe Six Seasons? Like, do you want that to be incorporated in the story because of, I don't know, like, lore reasons? Or, you know, we could dial it backwards. Like, there's only two seasons of the year where... Okay, well, let's do one thing at a time. Like, why why is there magic? Or, like, what is the point of focusing on, like, rogues or shit like that if you want to? Okay. Uh, let's look up... Let's... Like, we gotta figure out the purpose of these characters. So here, let me look up some fantasy world building questions. So let me let me look this up. Or you like. know, you could just answer the question I just gave you. Well, I'm stupid and wrong. Yeah. <laughs> Great. Thanks, honey. Oh God, this is a lot. Okay, but this is actually yes. kind of helpful. Oh my good lord. Um. Wow. This is crazy. A world building checklist, and it's got maybe 40 fucking things on here. This looks crazy. Okay, this is kind of a lot. I think this might be too much. <laughs> Alright, we're, we're gonna dial you, back. What did you just ask? Alright, what, what, what were you saying again? Like, what is the purpose of the, like, rogues and shit? Okay, so that's going to go into the magic system category that I put in here. Okay. So, first and foremost, how do we want to Just define... Like how do we want to define this magic system? Um, do we want it to be something that is external, like something that they have to actively get to use, or does this... Is this something that everyone is just born with, this power? Well, no, I mean, like, what is the point of... For, like, what is the point of our characters? We're not just characters, like... If we want a school, what is the point of the school? Right. Is it a standard school where you learn math and science and shit? Or is it, like, do you learn magic? And if you learn magic, why do you learn magic in a modern-day society? Right. Because I think you had a good point where it's either a combative thing or it's a like competitive thing and i like the idea of kind of doing both of those things where it's like maybe schools again like uh i kind of want to do a twist on like the whole dungeon thing like people are like super civilized nowadays but like there's still a few areas in the world that like aren't touched by humanity because they're so like dangerous kind of like how nobody's been to the mariana trench yeah. Like it, it's it like people would die trying to get there. So like I like the idea of that. Uh But it probably also wouldn't be just a few like freshmen going there too. No, no. I think it would be like <clears throat> it would be like groups and groups of people, right? Like hundreds of thousands of people would go do these things, right? And I hate I hate to say this, but solo leveling like Oh my and, gosh. 
in their world, these dungeons would open up. People would go into these dungeons, kill monsters, and the monsters would drop crystals, which had energy in them. And so, basically, modern society used those crystals to run machines off of them. Uh, as far as, like, hospitals and, like, you know, like cars and shit, like, they use these crystals in their day-to-day -day life. Now, it doesn't have to be as, like, simple as that system, but I think something like that would be interesting where, like... Again, just using this example, like, if it's a mountain, like, these kids go to school, they graduate, and it's all basically to train them to go to this mountain to fight these monsters, to collect resources, to bring back to society. Because, like, these items are so useful to society. Like, that sort of thing. Your thoughts? Uh... Maybe. I don't know. You're not a fan? I, I don't know. I just feel like... I'm spacing out. I'm really sorry. Uh... I feel like I'm going backwards with this. So, okay, let, let's put it like this. So the point of schools, plain so and simple. So we want it to be modern day, though, right? Yes. Okay, well, with modern day, there's, uh, like, advancements. We probably wouldn't... I feel like solo leveling feels weird because it feels like they're primitive in modern day when it comes to their understanding of, like, magic and shit. And I don't know. Do you want it to be something that's familiar and that this world is built around, or is it, like, suddenly plopped into their hands? I think it would be, that's a good question. I think it would be, like, something he, that the, people are familiar with. Like, I think it is just a basic, like, like understanding, like, a fundamental, like, I know how a phone works vaguely, you know? I don't know exactly, but, like, it's like, yeah, I got to power my phone to use it, right? Uh, that kind of thing. So it's like, oh, I got to go throw ye old rune on the the charging stone or something. I don't know. You get the point. But stuff stuff like that. I think it would already be a given that people understand it. That un people understand what? Uh, Well, if like there's like magic artifacts and shit. Yeah, I'm talking about like going into dungeons and shit though. Because I don't think there'd be with how if you want to modernize like an understanding of it a lot of things like most of the ocean we can go into right just right. the trench is just we don't have like light it's super dense down there and shit like that there's a whole bunch of reasons but um i don't know we're able to explore the rest of it and it's not like it causes an effect in our daily lives Everything with our daily lives, we've mostly figured out with, like, vaccines and, you know, education and shit like that. There's no, there's no, like, reason to go into these, is the thing. So, like... Well, I mean, like, so... I feel like with our society, we base our understanding around the world. If, if dungeons are super impactful in society and people are, you know, conquering them to make the world safer... I feel like people probably would have a better understanding than just leaving a bunch of them to be constantly, you know, explored to this day. Um, because, I don't know, like, with sickness is a huge impact on, you know, humanity. So we studied it and we made, like, vaccines. So I feel like with dungeons, we'd probably study them and figure out how to conquer most of them. You know? I feel like a better thing would probably be, like, human interaction. If magic affects you on a daily basis. I don't know. That's just one idea. You can you can combat that thought, though. Well, I'm, I just mean this more in, like... Are you looking at it more of a level where it's, like... Hmm... 
Does what I is what I said make sense? Yeah, a little bit. I'm a little lost. I'm not gonna lie. Okay, so if magic and dungeons and shit like that impacts you on a daily basis, you'd probably have a better understanding than constantly exploring new parts of it. I mean, if we lived in the ocean, we'd probably have explored like I don't know as a shit ton of it. Right, of just... right. Like, I, I know that. Like, I get that. It's just as far as, like, so, again, clear, just clear base here. Uh, like, what, again, like, that's kind of what I mean, like, as far as, like, phone chargers. Like, people understand that you got to charge your phone for a phone to work. Or, like, people understand, like, oh, I'm yeah. I'm talking about the purpose of, like, right. of magic and shit. And, like, you were talking about, like, going into dungeons. I just realized this ear is super offset. That might help. So, okay. So the point... Okay. Kind of try to wrap this back into what we were talking about. Like, what is the point of school, right? So I know for at least 100% one reason or one way uh, of why schools exist in this world is because of competitive sport. I know that people are very competitive when it comes to some of these sports. Again, we'll have to go into what sports exactly, but... I, I like the idea of there being some competitive sports within the schools and outside of the schools that people enjoy. But I want there to also be another reason as to why. Because, like, again, it's not like football is so important that it, it keeps your building lights on at night. Like, that kind of thing. Um, or, you know, uh, football doesn't keep a city running, is what I mean. And so I want to figure out what we can add into this this kind of modern day world that kind of forces people to become like adventurers almost and they don't have to necessarily be adventurers but i don't Do know do like, they need to be adventurers or can it be like something else i mean i'm i'm open i'm open to whatever idea i'm open to anything they don't have to be adventurers maybe they just like learn about these areas that are unexplored and like these whole fucking construction teams of people go out there with like mech suits and mecha drills and shit and just go go ham, you know? But I I definitely want there to be a bigger part to this world outside of it, just like as far as magic goes, where it's like people use magic on a day to day basis sort of deal. And I, I want there to be a reason why people use magic on a day to day basis. I want there to be a reason why people go to school be, you know, for magic and such. Like, I want to integrate magic into a modern day world, pretty much, and have it make sense. Okay, so it's like either competitive or like a needed skill. Right, so I still think we can do so this. So, what do you want to focus on? Do you want to focus on like competition or like, like a need? I kind of want to do both. So, Again, as far as, like, the framework of the story that I wanted to do, I wanted to focus on some of the smaller issues at first and then kind of slowly ramp up to the bigger issues. So, again, like, when you first start out in college or school or wherever, like, you don't really think about all of the big problems and maybe they don't even affect you to a certain degree up until, like, further in the story when those things start to impact our, our players more. And then that's when we can switch it to where it's like, oh, they're worrying about sports. They're worrying about, uh, again, like just examples, like they're worrying about sports or like if they're going to make it to the homecoming dance or something or their test grade's going to be bad. And then suddenly they have to worry about saving everybody in the city, like that kind of deal. But I don't want it to just off the bat be like, you no, know, they're, of course they're worrying not, about. But we still got to ask those questions. Like, does that make sense? Yeah, and that's that's what I'm trying to figure out now is like I don't know what I be, I don't know what realistically would warrant that level of danger is what I mean. Okay, well it doesn't need to be danger. Uh let me think. Um like martial arts can be competitive. Right. I mean, you still probably know how to defend yourself, but, like, because there can be, you know, psychopaths, but, uh, 
but that's not necessarily like a college level skill or something like that. So it probably and, wouldn't be like college. Uh, right. And so that, again, I think before we get twisted up here, what is the point of the school? Yeah, that's that's what I'm trying to figure out with you. Like, why are they doing any of this? What? What is the goal? What is like the top of the mountain? Yeah. So do you want it to be like a comp, like a competitive piece, or because uh, or something that's like needed? I think I think it would be more interesting if it was needed. And what I mean is, like, in college, in school, I think there can be competitive sport, you know, with magic and stuff. But outside of the school, outside of the players, I want there to be a bigger goal, a bigger uh, objective for them to get. Uh, like, I let's just say there's a crown at the top of this mountain. And I want to introduce the story with, you know, the small issues with, with competitive sport and stuff like that. And then eventually reveal like you know these guys are going to college because they're trying to become good enough to go get the crown kind of deal so uh, basically dumb it down like there needs to be an overarching overarching goal and then inside of that goal I want there to be more conflict pretty much that makes sense yeah um I do think there should be an overarching goal, but I don't think it should be as simple as like getting a crown. Right, right. I, I was just, ex I, I was just an example. I don't want there to be like a MacGuffin item that's like you get this and you can wish for whatever you want kind of deal. Like I think that's kind of boring. Mm -hmm. But I'm not quite sure what to do. I feel like. I feel like human conflict is probably like a big one. Like, I mean, obviously, usually with stories, it's probably going to be unless you want it to be like a world kind of issue. I, I don't know if I said that all in my head or, okay, wait. I feel like we either need to have a focus be like a a group a person or the world like something's wrong with the world or because something needs to drive you know right so, so if it's a need something needs to drive it and I, what is I think driving? i think like a good example is like because we had, we had sealed in time which that was about the world there was an issue with the world and that's kind of what i want to get away from and the whole issue with the world was that it was like miserable everyone hated it and there was a way to fix it but again, I'm just using examples because this is the best the, the best way I know how to work off of this. Okay. But like, in JoJo Part Four, oh. the main <laughs> the main antagonist is a serial killer, uh, and that that drives the entire story forward. Is it's just one person, it's just one guy that is affecting these guys' day to day lives because he killed one of their friends, and so it's it's about them trying to get justice, trying to trying to help the people in this small town city get justice on the serial killer who, who's going around so it doesn't have to be something grandiose like it's you know it's like oh they gotta go up into these dungeons or anything I think it could be as simple as like I don't know like the mayor is just like a horrible dude like that like I don't know he doesn't necessarily have to be a serial killer but like you see what I mean I think it would be interesting to do like that route of a serial killer but I don't know if that's kind of where we want to take it. Well, you, well, the thing is, we have a school about this, right? So it's going to be world impacting, probably, not just a small town issue. What makes you say that? Why would people just go to a school for the specialty if it's just affecting this one town? Why? Why would? Okay, that's like if, um. I don't know if we built up a college in Louisville and I'm trying to think we had 
I don't know, like a detective course because there was a serial killer going on going around. I mean, right. there's like I'm already. Not, no, I'm not saying like. Hold on, I'm switching my music around. Sorry. Uh, there. There's like there's already jobs for that. They are jobs like like police officers that handle crime altogether. Well, I'm not saying there's going to be, like, a division in the school for catching serial killers. No, I know that, but my point is that, like, that there is not a specific uh, thing because there's one specific killer going around, so they make an entire course for you to handle this one killer. It's, it's like, something overarching, so, like, if you're, if you're going to learn crime and stuff then you can be a lawyer or shit like that. They handle crime in general, not just with one specific guy. I'm not gonna go into, like, become a lawyer just so that way I can help Ted Bundy. That dude's dead. I don't know. Does that make any sense? I'm a little lost. I think I get what you're trying to say, though, is, like, like there's already people in place to, like, take care of that stuff. Is that what you mean? Well, kind of. Why, like... Well, I just, I, I'm looking at it like, it's not, my, I'm not my, saying the that thing... the issue was there beforehand. Oh, I'm not saying hey, they're going to school let, because hey. there's a hey. serial killer. I'm hey. saying while they're in school, while they are in school, <laughs> this serial killer is going to pop up. And it's like, oh yeah, a lot of people have been missing and the police aren't hey, really doing a good you. job. The police are doing a bad job. They're not finding the guy that we're trying to find. And then it's like, maybe something happens personally closely to the players that involves them it tangles them up in this shit and then maybe the players feel like they got to do something to go stop them you see what i'm saying yeah but right. like and it was kind of like what we were talking about the other day where it was like maybe a student gets wrapped up in this shit like maybe one of the students that they become friends with ends up getting convinced by this fucking serial killer to start killing kids or something i don't know just an idea. I don't know if I'm married to the idea of there being like a no, serial I, killer. No, I think but... that's an okay idea. That's an okay idea. We can talk about the specifics of like, you know, the big issue later on. Just uh, God, why'd you have to start fucking yelling, man? Because you are listening. You are listening. I, bro, I, oh my God. You are listening. I had to put my foot down. Bitch. I mean, sorry. Sweetheart, yeah. my pookie schmookie, yeah. I love you. I am your your supporter, right? No. N okay, okay, you know. You're, you're against me. You're trying to you're trying to plot against me. Okay. Okay. Again, let's so, let's circle back around. What is the point of the school? Uh. Outside yeah, of just competitive of sport. Excuse you. Is it just, are we just going the route of like, it's a normal ass college and people just go here to go here to get their degree? Oh, my point with the thing before was that, uh, I'm spacing out. God damn it. Um, fuck. What was I thinking? My whole point with. The, the whole bit I was talking about was that uh, I was just trying to say I, you, you clarified your point there isn't a need for one tiny narrow subject like this issue there's not a need for this teeny tiny issue for an entire course to be made over it Right. There is, there's a need for like crime lawyers and shit like that but there isn't a like you don't go to school to handle one teeny tiny issue because eventually that teeny tiny issue might get resolved. Like, when Ted Bundy was having his case, people didn't become lawyers. Like, Specifically to get him, yeah. Yes. That's, so that's, that's what I'm. Point. That's what I'm saying is like. So do you just want to go with the route where this school is just in general for everybody? It's for like scientists, doctors, engineers, like that kind of thing, or did you it want? Doesn't... It to... It doesn't need to be, but my, because like, you know, you can, there's police academies and shit like that, that we could base it off of, but, uh, or it could be our own entirely new thing. Do you want it to be like, 
I mean, I think it would be more interesting if it was kind of like a new thing. And I, again, I would like it if it was more magical in a way. Like, it's, I'm not against the idea of it being like, you know, I'm not against the idea of it being like a general school for like every kind of person, but I think it would be more interesting if this was like a school meant for more magic based stuff in general. Yeah. Or, and again, like, I don't mean that in the way where it's like only this school is for magic based stuff. I want it, I want it to, I don't know, like Harry Potter, I guess, in a way. Like, like that school was for magic people. And they had other schools, I think, in the Harry Potter world, right? Yeah, they had normal schools there too, but like, you know, Hogwarts mostly focused why, on. Why did the kids and why did they learn magic? Because uh, they had magic and they kind of needed to control it. I mean, the whole... When Harry was going to go to Hogwarts, his magic was acting up in front of people. And they were like, that can't happen. Now, now. Why? Well, because he started talking to snakes and he let he broke a full, like, 12-foot-long anaconda out of its cage. Like, the glass was there and then a kid fell in. And so he's like uncle or whatever came by and was like no harry i'm kidding he was more like okay i mean that, wizard, that, harry. that's okay then i mean we can just go the route of this being a magic school to help kids control their magic better but okay. then again in that case though i th i think we should go to a we should do a high school setting and not a college setting Okay. Because if they're in college, I would assume that they would have better control over that. Because you could argue that in middle school, when you hit puberty, maybe that's when your magic activates or something, you know? And then maybe that's when, like, you gotta have, you need to learn how to get a better grip on it in high school. Do you do you agree? Yeah, I do. I'm thinking. Um... So we'll we'll switch it back to a high school because I think that just makes a bit more sense to me. Okay. High school. Why are you a professional hater today? Because <laughs> someone doesn't like to listen. I, That's why. I am listening. Buddy. I am listening. I am listening. I'm going to talk Excuse over you the whole time. you. Shush. Okay, so look, the point of school is competitive sport and to help kids handle their magic. Ooh, cool villain idea already. What if there's a kid who can't handle his magic because he has so much of it and then he becomes a danger, right? Already, boom, I'm rolling the ball here. All right, so. Do you want so... to talk about the big bad guy live? <laughs> no, we'll, we'll, we'll talk about that at some other point. But what I want to talk about, because I got a couple points here that I do want to try and knock out. So we know that it's like a modern day 2010. It's going to be like one of those typical American high schools because we're from America. And it's in a decent-sized city. Um, as far as the populace, so... Do you really want it to be 2010? Why can't it be, like, 2020? It can be 2020. Really it, difference. Yeah, like, that's... It can be 2020. It's, like, it doesn't matter. Um, I, again, it, just saying modern day, like, you think, like, cars, skyscrapers, phones, like, you know, that kind of thing. So, I think, basically, from the 2000s to now, like, you could argue it's just, like, modern day. But I wanted to talk about a, the populace. So as far as, like, different races of people, uh, whether they're, like, Goliaths or halflings or whatever, how do you want to do that? And how would you like that to fit into this world? What do you mean? Okay, so, like, uh, again, like, the Wonderless d, d thing that I was listening to. So they had a really interesting spin on it which was this island that everybody lived on was human. There were no orcs. There was no halflings. It was just humans. And in the middle of the episode, uh, one of the characters accidentally, like, falls down a cliff, hits his head, and gets, tele like, not teleported, but he activates, like, an elevator, and it's revealed that there's an entire city living under, under the like one. Like Undertale! Piece. Like Undertale. And there's, mon it's, like, all the orcs. There's, like, rat people and shit. So that's what I mean with the populace is like, how do you do you want anything with race to like 
intertwined to this story. Like, Cole, his campaign, he had it to where, like, drows were, uh, like, everyone hated drows because of, like, the lore in the world, that sort of deal. Um, or do you just want it to be, like, uh, everyone hangs out here in perfect harmony? And we're not going to pay attention to, like, the race. I think that would have to be a boundary thing that we talk about with our players, especially the new ones. I mean, um, I think, I don't, I'm not super interested. If there's going to be issues at all with that, I think. I'm not super interested in going down, like, a, like, that route specifically. I feel like I already kind of did with my last one. I think no, that was. I know, but it might be important for like some players. Like, I don't know. Well, right. So like that—that that was the thing. Is like Cole had already had this world, and I picked to play a drow, and he basically just pulled me to the side and was like, "Hey, this is how you're gonna be treated because you're a drow. Like, this is what's gonna happen." And I was okay with that. And he gave me the option to switch if I wanted to. So like, I'm fine with doing that. Session zero, where it's like, if somebody wants to play an orc or something. And then I'm like, hey, in this world, orcs are treated pretty nasty. Like, people don't like orcs in this world. And then I can give them the option to switch from that point on. But, I, again, that's why I'm asking. Do you want to do anything like that? Or do you just want to leave it where it's like, it doesn't matter? It should be, like, harsh. Uh, just because if we're doing modern... I don't know. If you want to tie it into modern events, I thought things are... are probably better now but i mean it's gonna be a fantasy world things could be shit i don't I mean, know if, if you want so again i think the i, I think i kind of like the idea where it's like magic is very highly esteemed in this world uh like your your abilities and magic and stuff is important and so again base basing this on fantasy D, &D races like if you play uh, like in, I don't know, again, I, I, I don't know the D&D &D races, but I'm just saying, like, if you play, like, an elf, because, again, elves usually are the magic race, if you play an elf, like, maybe people look up to you because, like, you are very highly attuned with magic. Uh, it's almost like a status symbol in this world, uh, like, your ability to handle and control your magic. Um... I think it'd be interesting if it was more of like a birthmark or something like that that indicated, you know. Yeah, I mean, we could we could do something like that. Um, I mean, you could assume that elves are, but like, I don't know. Uh. I think I think for now for populace, I think I'm just gonna put every race is chill. Uh, we'll put we'll just put that every race is chill, and then I we'll mean, I'll put in. And then I can put a new tab and basically be like... There's like... there With D&D, &D, the point of tieflings is that they're they're demonic, right? Mm -hmm. Almost everywhere they're looked down upon. And it's kind of like some people, a lot of people... I really like this for that reason. Because, like, you know, if you're born as something you can't control, it's, can be, it can feel good to be able to fight against any stigmas you're born with does that make sense right like as a queer person you know like i don't know it, it kind of feels nice being able to shit on people for judging you for something you can't control i don't know does that make any sense yeah and if our players are queer i mean i don't know I mean, we can have, like, the basic forms of, like, discrimination and stuff in this campaign, but as far as, like, I think for now, every race kind of being on the same level, more or less, is okay. I do like your idea of, like, either, like, some kind of mark on them showing, like, either your level of control or, like, how much mana you can you have. Like, I think that's interesting, so, like, I don't know if we said it was, like, a birthmark, right? Like, everyone has a birthmark on the corner of their head. And, like, some kid comes in and he doesn't even, ha like, have one. And people would make fun of him because he doesn't have one, right? Like, I think that's interesting. Should I give uh, Feyren huge shoes? Like, huge round boots? Like clown shoes? No, not like clown shoes. Just I'm like looking at your screen feet. right now. They look like socks. Yeah, I know. I'm gonna... Fuck you. I'll just draw, like, boots. Like normal, normal ass boots. What about like, wait? <laughs> just 
Looks like she has duck feet. Those those ankles look like they could be broken by by the wind. Okay, well Okay, buddy. It's cuz yeah. they're tied to, they're not tied together. They're They're, that they're pushed weird. together. Me, yeah, they're uh, for now, I'll say that there's going to be markings. Uh, how, how do you want people to, like, like, what markings do you want people to see? I don't know, like... Are we doing, like, My Little Pony, like, little... Oh, God. Little symbols on everybody, or... <laughs> this looks so fucking cute. Uh, sorry, what? Are we, I'm distracted like... with this. <laughs> Looks like that's, boots that's from Dora. That's like, I don't know, like some magic markings. Magic markings. I don't know, like a birthmark? Or like a forehead symbol? Or... It could be, like, I mean, like, honestly, like, I know you can't see my screen right now, but stuff like that would be pretty interesting. Be like, druid antlers or something? I don't think... One unread message. F you. Why did you... Did you send that okay, to me? Okay, <laughs> look, at, look at the chat really quick. This is this is important. Like, look at, look at this. Like, this is cool. So this is crazy. This looks really cool. What? This little this little thing I I, I sent in the chat. Where is this from? It's really cool. Oh. Yeah, that's, that's pretty cool. I really like that. I mean, we could do something like that. Mm -hmm. I mean, we can come up with our own symbols, too. Right. Which you could be drawing right now. Uh, so, we'll do this. We'll do this. You want me to work on this? Uh, again, I'm not stealing. I'm just inspired by what I read. Uh, so, this guy <laughs> said... Okay, look. I came up with the idea before I saw it. It doesn't... It, this counts still. The guy... Okay, so the guy said on the Deviant Art picture that I just saw that from... He said that people awaken like these symbols on their hearts to show like what affinity for magic they have. Uh, oh, so which like it... rogues and shit like that. Right. So again, that that kind of loops around. So it's like if you used, if you just sent somebody, you can see like their mark on them. You can see like what mark they hold, what their affinity is. This is just a cutie mark. So we could do like marking on souls kind of deal. You just ignored or... what I just said. I don't know what you're bringing. I don't know what that is. It's from My Little Pony. Okay, well, they're going to have My Little Pony little symbols on their hearts. Or their souls. <laughs> okay? You think I just insulted you? Why do you sound like that? <laughs> Alright, so marking on the soul for magic symbols. Or right, we'll do, uh... Shit. 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 It's kind of like Slytherin versus Gryffindor beef. We can have. I don't know. Yeah. Right. What if you like you've got your family has an affinity for magic and you have an affinity for like I don't know well, something else? I think what's cool is like, like mom, being a major shithead. You'd be good at that. Psycho does it, but like they have like psychic abilities that enhance the body to like make you like really beefy and stuff. Yeah. So like there can like even if you're a barbarian like you can have like magic that. Like, you have an affinity for, like, strength-based magic, right? That lets you do, like, ex you know, inhuman stuff, right? Yeah. So, uh... And do you think it should be, like, should... I don't know. How would you want to differ, like... Would everyone have kind of, like, magic with them? Like, even barbarians, but yeah. not necessarily, like, not like spells, but I mean... Right, right. That's what I mean, is, like, barbarians will... S like, technically, barbarians use magic in this world, too. They just use it differently than, like... Like, some magic users expel their magic, and some use it internally. 
So like, if you want to look at it like rogues, the way that they use magic is like, their magic is used internally to like, lessen the sound they make, like that sort of thing. Yeah. So like, I think, think that would be interesting. In this kind of world, wouldn't do you think it would be interesting if people were judged based off of their affinity for things? Yeah, I think that, that could be interesting. Like, I, gu I guess if you have an affinity for, like, stealth or something like that, like, that might be seen as, I don't know. Right, like, people immediately look at you and they're like, oh, oh, you're you're sneaky? You're a sneaky, fuck you. You're a little gremlin, huh? Gremlin goblin. So, we'll call them affinities for now. Uh, their technology level is modern day, it's cars, trains, planes, and, like, phones and whatnot. Uh, I don't know. What else is modern day? Cody, this like... is the least we've bickered. <laughs> I know. Wow. I did not type that right. Modern medicine, so affinity. I wonder what you're doing differently, because it's your fault when that <laughs> happens. No, it is not. Affinity. Affinities. Four. Types of magic. You gonna break the streak? You start bickering. <laughs> yeah. Let's beat each other up. Okay. I'm feeling pretty good. I'm feeling pretty good about this so far. Okay. Oh, did uh, Alice text you back yet? Oh, yeah, shit. No. Uh, your brother did. What did he say? <laughs> He's acting like a villain. Yeah, the mwahaha laugh. Ta da! I'm getting better at responding to people. Good job. I am trying to. Okay. I feel like this is a decent start. People used to complain. I was looking back at the messages that I, I hadn't read in a minute, and a, a lot of the times it was just like... I was great at responding to Kyle and Haley, but if it was anybody else, they were like, Why don't you talk to me? I, You just ignored me, man. Am I a am I a jerk for that? No. What's a Cause like you know there's like class of 09. Like I feel like that's kind of a catchy like title. You could do Class of 09? Yeah, I'm thinking of like a campaign name. Hmm. Do you want Ooh. to set up years differently? Maybe. Here. We'll do school. I want it to be um, like a vague year. I don't want it to really be attached to this world entirely. I think like as in progress of where it is, I guess. But like, I don't know. Where is it? Fantasy generator, where are you? I think it'd be interesting if race played into interaction sometimes, but I think it would be more interesting if it was mostly like affinities that were, you know. Thought about. I don't know, what do you think? What do you think would be better for, like, this kind of story? Do you want to focus it more on, like, what we're teaching? Huh? Or, 
The fact that they're students, do you think it would be more interesting if affinities or race played a role in how people interact? I think affinities would be more interesting. I feel like races get kind of, like, dicey. I want it to be, like, something outside of that. Yeah, me too. <clears throat> That's what I was saying. Uh, what do we want to call These the school? These look like tennis shoes. These look like fucking tennis shoes. So I guess the school would be based off of the name of the city. So what do you want to call the city? Uh. Hmm. Yeah, and it's kind of a mo like, and again, it's it's gonna be like a decent sized city. Nothing too crazy. We can name it, like have it be based on a name, like a person, like, a person? like whoever founded the city. You know, I feel like a lot of cities are. You know, like okay. that. Uh, Dragonborn name generator. I feel like Dragonborns always have, like, really, like, meaty names, you know? Clithos. Like, come on. I like that. Clithos. Nolk. These crazy ones already. I'm fun. Rill. Jurill. Jurhill. Jurhill. EM. Yak. Shaken. Shaken. Varus. That one's kind of cool. Varus? Yeah, I kind of like Varus. Oh, what if we had them vote for it? No. We gotta, no. We, I, yeah, we gotta keep it a secret until until we, we play. Well, we also gotta have a session zero. So. Yeah, right. So it'll, it'll be like Varus Heights. We can call the, we can call it Varus Heights is the city name. And then we can, we can worry about what Var, who Varus is eventually. School. Let's figure out the actual school. So we'll call this Varus. Do you want to call it Var? No, that that's gonna get very confusing. I'm changing the name to Varus. Oh God, I don't want to do that either. Oh, I also really wanted to talk about what Taylor wanted to do. Okay, so real quick, real quick. So the, I don't know the, if we should talk about that on stream. So this person's name is Varish, or it, their name is Varish. Fuck, this is kind of a tongue twister. Varish okay. Sorish. Varish Sorish is their name. Okay, what, what, are, what are you? So okay, are you I, I'm. Yes, yeah, sorry. What is this? What should this? I was gonna call the city originally Varsh Highs, or Heights is what it was gonna be called. Varsh Heights was the city name, and then I realized calling the school Varsh High, it, like those are gonna get confused very quickly. Um, so I want to change those names a bit more. So what should the city be called? If Varsh is the one who founded it, Varshville. I don't know. Something like that. No one, no one, it's not like Thomasville. Like, no one calls their city Thomasville. I, that is definitely a place. Let me look that up. Okay, you can look it up, but I'm sure it's a real thing. But <sighs> Yep. It's a okay. place. City names. So add an ending like Borough, Shire, Ville, or Dale. So what what was it? Varish. Varishire? No, that sounds like really like Scottish. Varshire. Var Varshire. <laughs> Wait, what about Varishdale? We can do Varishdale. I feel like that sounds a bit different.
So we got Varsh Dale, and then we'll have Varsh High, the high school. The Varsh High School. I do not like the face I made for this. There'll be a statue of Varish uh, at the entrance. What is their what is their color scheme? Do you think? Okay, well, do you want to look up like color meanings? Yeah, I'm looking. I'm looking up high school color themes right now. Well, I mean color meanings. I know like what, colors... what different colors mean? I don't know what colors mean. So, what do we want this society to prioritize? Magic. Magic above all. Magic is okay, important. Okay, listen, listen. So, okay. Uh, let me give you a few words. Purple is purple, well, black, and white. Listen, wealth, professionalism, or elegance. I feel like professionalism would be better. Okay. Out of all those? Yeah, I feel like okay. like I I could definitely see like some parents being like, "Oh, like I went to Varish High School. Like I graduated from Varish." Like Okay. Like they go into and... a meeting room and then like they would slap their meat on the table and be like, "Behold." Ugh. Like that okay. kind of thing, you know. Playful Wholesome or simple? I guess wholesome. I don't know. Okay. Uh, nature, intelligence, or luxury? Intelligence, I feel like. Okay. Or, or luxury or spirituality? Sorry. I would say luxury then. Okay. Yeah, are you working on a color palette for me now? Yeah. Uh, passion, creativity, or hope? Passion. Okay. And so I'm going to narrow down... Okay, I'm gonna give you a few different words. Okay? okay. So, formality or honesty? Formality. Okay. Uh. Trust or mystery? I would, do, I would do mystery, I feel like. How many colors do you want? I would probably only stick to like three. I think anything more than that, it gets kind of overcomplicated. I'm looking up high school color themes now, and it kind of seems to be like three to four max. That's what it looks like. It looks like two to three. Yeah. I think four would honestly be kind of pushing it. But... Why, why is this... I'm seeing mostly two colors. Yeah, I think if you do anything more than that, it can look a little like... It can look like a bit much. Okay. So, um... 
Right now, I've got gray, purple, red. Let me try to make up a color palette with this. Whoops. Gray, purple, red? Yeah, that could definitely work. You can get like some kind of magenta maroon colors in there. That could definitely work. Kind of gives off like a fruit, <laughs> a fruity color almost. I feel like this could look nice. It kind of, it kind of just looks like the bisexual flag. Yeah, I mean, yeah. I mean, just a little bit. At least this one does. We'll do like purple, red, and I would just do white. I wouldn't do gray. I feel like gray is too much of a neutral color. Okay, I can do it. One second. I got this. Okay. I feel like we got a decent start here to the world. Uh, what is the name of the world? What do we call the name of the world? Hello Bean? Hello Bean, that's an interesting one. No, no. Whoa! Whoa, Bean. Akiko. What about that? Akiko? H E K I K O. It's an interesting name, right? Just came up with yeah. it on the spot. Yeah. Work for a placeholder. So I'm pretty happy with this for the most part. We got a nice, I feel like, decent world built here. I heard that. Hey. Can you hear him? I can. Ollie! Little baby bean. You want to have like a list of like. Hold on, I kind of I'm gonna do this really quick. Oh. Hello? Hello. That just sounded like a nuke went off. Him climbing that. He's charming. Okay, I'm gonna make a quick list here. So... I swear to God, Kylo, if you jump down here, I'm gonna strangle you. Say that. So in rank, okay. So obviously, if this is like a very magic based, uh, at least in the way that people respect, like respect you magically. So would you say like wizard? I would probably say in that case, sorcerers would probably be the most respected. What about warlocks? Well, sorcerers are naturally gifted. So like no, I know. What do you what do you think about warlocks? So warlocks are people who got their magic from packs with like demons and stuff. But I mean, I feel like they would still be pretty high up on the list. I know, but I feel like that's probably the least natural. What what are you doing? What what would be the in universe? I mean, do we do we want to have like I really don't want there to be, but do you want to have like gods and stuff in this? I mean, there can be, but uh. Let me let me look up like, or or lock, work, arounds. Oh, for warlocks? I mean, you could have it be anything like demons or anything like that. Oh, 
Okay, thanks, buddy. That was great. It's just something they serve that they get their power from. It doesn't need to be, like... Do you want... How about... I mean, do you think it'd be interesting if warlocks were, like, the most hated because... Like, because of what they do to get their power? Yeah, I guess, because it's not really effort or natural talent. Gotcha. It might be the same as looking at, like, AI art, I guess. Okay. And then I would put wizard under sorcerer. Oh, wait, did you see the, the color palette I got? I did. That That is pretty much what I was looking at there. What do you what do you want what animal do you want there to be their uh, mascot? Oh, uh, you gonna make one up? Oh, uh, well, there's a bunch of D and D monsters. I'm sure I can find one really fast. Yeah. <gasps> oh my gosh! I sent one to the group chat the other day. What? Uh, oh, the. Well, no, it's gotta be like a like a. A strong looking one. It can't just be like Oh, a... so it's gotta be badass. It can't be like <sighs> Okay, do you see like puppies on any anyone's thing? I don't Let me think look it up. so. I'll bet you I can find it. Cute mascot skull. Oh my god. Oh god. Instant. These are cute. Cute mascots for high school. Okay, some of these are pretty weird. Okay, I guess they gotta look tough. Sorry. <laughs> Jeez. And, I mean, they don't Listen, look... I think it would be cute if there was, like, that little mushroom cat thing. Sorry. Okay. Yeah, I just wanna look up mascot. High, like, high school mascot. What about... What is Eevee? this? What is this? Google? <laughs> Google, tell me. Sorry, Google, that sounds so weird. That'd be so adorable. Oh my goodness. Always getting annoyed at Kylo right now. Could be a displacer beast. Seeing a lot of that. But a flump. No, I don't even know what that is. You know what that is? No. Look it up. A flump. Oh, what is it? A flump? F L. Oh, what? It's like a spaghetti monster. Okay. <laughs> yeah, I hate her. Does it look okay? Yeah, I just I feel like if I was like, oh yeah, guys, your D and D like your high your high school mascot is a flump, they're gonna be like, what the fuck is that? I'll show them. It's fine. I, I like it, it can we can just it, a jellyfish with eyes. Right. It's just a jellyfish with eyeballs. Um. All right. Let's see. I gotta keep I gotta keep figuring this out. So cleric, and then probably next up would be bard. Druid. Ooh, actually, wait, I just saw one. Barbarian. A cobra. Did you look it up? Uh, not yet. I'm I'm typing this list out really quick. I'm gonna take a picture of it. Oh my goodness! Some people can be so oh. I love how creative people are. Am I forgetting? I got rogue, ranger. Okay, there we go. Oh, that's cool. 
Yeah, I like that. The Koibra? Yeah. So I'm not I'm not hater. Just judging everything that I come up with. You want it to be like for for warlocks? Do you want it to be like analog horror monsters that like they make deals with? For what? For warlocks. Um. Sure. I mean, how would that work? I'm just gonna set it to basically like there's God and Satan. I mean, you can basically have like a warlock serve like a little cute chipmunk or something like that. It could be anything. Like with power that's able to gift its power to you. Yeah, but I mean, it's usually like So a drawing on ancient knowledge of beings such as fey, fey nobles, demons, devils, hags, and alien entities of the far realm. Yeah, it's kind of like... I don't know, I think it'd be fine to do, like... Mm hmm? Yeah? Uh, here. Scroll up way to the top. I'm writing some stuff. So, we can have, like, do stuff like this. Just so they have names. Like this kind of thing. We'll do, like, a very Christian mythology kind of deal with these two. I don't know, we can have, like, church angels. And we can have, a. Uh, well, I mean, okay. I don't know, say. I, I don't know, demons. Also, I uh, I finished the list from. You no, know, there's a there's a list of gods in D and D, right? Yeah, D &D but books. I don't, I don't want to do that. Why? I don't know. It feels lazy. Why? I don't want to just copy off of shit. No, you're not copying. You're using. That's like saying you're copying for using the same spells in the books. I don't know, I just don't like it, okay? Okay! Damn! Yeah, yeah, watch it. So, from top to bottom, sorcerers are going to be the most liked wizards, clerics, bards, druids, paladins, barbarians, monks, rangers, rogues, fighters, and at the very least, warlocks. Okay. All right, and then I got a couple gods. We got some settings set down. They're gonna be in Varish High School. Um, they are gonna have a cobra. Or what is it? Co is it a cobra? Coibra. Coibra. Oh, because it's like a koi fish. Ah. Yeah. Isn't it cute? It is. We'll have a cobra mascot. Um. That is very cute. I really like the art for that. Alright, I like that. I, I put for the city that people value the affinity more than anything. Um, 
And the that. I feel like for a start for today, that's pretty solid. And I, I just put for the campaign name School of Var. And after this, um It'll just, just be figuring out this I wanna figure out the city a little bit more. And then after we figure out the city, um we can start figuring out the story and then I mean, do you want to do you want to figure out the story first or do you just want to kind of do it how we did sealed in time? We probably just got to base the story around the players, right? Right. I want like have a, a reaction. We I want to plan the story around them. Right. So like but I do think we should have like a set up story so like the world that they are not necessarily plan what's going to happen, but necessary more like um, plan what has happened and what's already been set up, so right. we can see how they're going to influence what's already been set up. And I know you can't see this, but I do have here over on the side my uh, like my my world anvil, so we can set up a timeline next time of what has happened and what is going to happen in the future, that kind of deal, so. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, I really like this, and I think hopefully soon we can set up the new group chat and we can get the session zero started. Why can't we just keep the same one and change it's the name? because we're going to be adding more people in. Yeah, and I want to do a new one. I want to do a new one so people can go back and look at the old one and be like, wow, I remember that. Starting you fresh. Wanna, you want to hit him with nostalgia? Yeah, we're gonna start fresh here. All right, I'm gonna I'm gonna go ahead and end my stream because uh, we play we went on but pretty long today. Yeah. So okay, thank you guys for coming and watching this. It was a productive stream. Uh, we will catch you all with days tomorrow Wednesday. And I think I think I I'm trying to do like a new schedule. Uh, I'll have to update it sometime soonish uh, just so I can work and function as a human being because streaming every day is kind of a lot for me uh, so we're gonna switch a little bit of stuff around and try a new schedule out and we'll go from there I'll have to update it on my Twitch eventually but not tonight uh, but yeah thank you guys for coming I'm excited and I really hope this D&D campaign goes well so Appreciate y'all. Thanks for coming. See you next time. Bye.